Hello and welcome to part 8 of the Trinity is a False Teaching. Peace of the Lord God be with you. Uh, refuting J. Hutzel's video. Let's get to work. Okay, this, vi this is saying right here how God, he loved us so much that he came as a man to even relate with us that God emptied himself in Christ that he would even become our brothers in the family of God. That it's not how it is with the Muslims and Allah. You ask a Muslim, what is the purpose Allah created us? He will say, because we are his slaves. Not so in Christianity. We are his children. And even God himself humbled himself and came down as a child of the Father to show that even through persecution, even through problems, we can be completely obedient to God. And that if we do that, we can do these miraculous things. That if we are sinless... So Jesus... As the man, he still had a choice. And this, you have to under distinguish when he's speaking on his own opinion or whether he's speaking as the word of the Father made flesh. Okay, let me show you. Here we go. It didn't open. John 10.30. <clears throat> Here we go. John chapter 10. Jesus answered. Let's read it in context. Jesus answered. I did tell you, but you do not believe. The miracles I do in my Father's name speak of me, but you do not believe because you are not my sheep. My sheep listen to my voice. I know them, and they follow me. I give them eternal life. Ah, uh, you see that? You're going to use the Bible to disprove the Bible. Then that means I can use the Bible to prove it. I give them eternal life. This is God, because only God, he can give eternal life. And they shall never perish. No one can snatch them out of my hand. My father has... My father who has given them to me is greater than all. No one can snatch them out of my Father's hand. I and the Father are one. Funny how you fail to recognize these verses. Again, the Jews picked up stones to stone him. But Jesus said to them, I have shown you many great miracles from the Father. For which of these do you stone me? We are not stoning you of any of these, replied the Jews. But for blasphemy, because you, a mere man, claim to be God. So this verse you're trying to use to disprove that Jesus is God, the people of his day, the scholars in Judaism, knew the implications of that, that he was claiming to be God. Jesus answered them, It is not 
Is it not written in your law, I have said, you are gods? If you, if he calls them gods to whom the word of God came, and the scripture cannot be broken, what about the one whom the Father set apart as his very own and sent into the world? Why then do you accuse me of blasphemy because I said, I am God's son? Do you not believe me unless I do what my Father does? But if I do it, even though you do not believe me, believe the miracles that you may know and understand that the Father is in me and I am in the Father. Again they tried to seize him. But he escaped their grasp. So the Spirit of God is in Jesus' soul, and the soul of Jesus is in the Spirit of God, and they are one in the community with the Holy Spirit as one God, making him very different and very unique from any other created thing. Because remember, he was born of the Virgin Mary, he existed before he was born with the father when he died even the grave could not hold him he ascended back to the father he is eternal jesus said before abraham was i am this is the name for god i am i think i've done enough for this video it's pretty much over So thank you for watching this series, and uh, stay tuned for the next videos. Bye for now.